Walter O'Brien. I have the fourth highest IQ ever recorded, 197. Einstein's was 160. When I was 11, the FBI arrested me for hacking NASA to get their blueprints for my bedroom wall. Now, I run a team of geniuses tackling worldwide threats only we can solve. Toby's our behaviorist. Sylvester's a human calculator. Happy, a mechanical prodigy. Agent K. Gallows, our government handler. And Paige? Well, Paige isn't like us. She's normal and translates the world for us while we help her understand her genius son. Together, we are Scorpion. Here, Octavio. Transport isn't due for an hour, so then. Usted quiere que me calme? You haven't seen what they do to people like me. Two years we've been working to take down the cartel. We've seen plenty. I swear I hear something. There is no place more secure than this middle of nowhere desert dump, Octavio. Guaranteed by the U.S. government. We are alone. supposed to ask to use my laptop, buddy. My game got weird. I unlocked a hidden level. It took me someplace, but there was no one there. What game is this? A new one. Online. You know we don't play games I don't approve of first, right? Sleep. No. You're late. Don't speed when you're hauling this kind of load. Gotta ask, is this thing radioactive? Shouldn't be. Okay, go grab that shadow box for your show and tell. I'll make you cook breakfast. Five minutes. What's Walter working on? I don't know. Booster decoupler. For what? Wow. Wow what? What's he up to? No idea. So, what are we doing? Ah, uh, reactor core. Please do not touch that. Oh. Am I looking at a dismantled CL450? So CL460. Polish this for me. Oh. She so can polish the reactor core. I'm Lord Numbnuts, huh? You're no good with your hands. You're a spiller. Am I? Uh, oh. Toby. Yeah, num nuts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Why don't you go do a psyche vow in the coffee pot? Where is the olds? I was gonna use that as a makeout hut. With who? A lucky lady. Whoa, Walter, what is this? You build a spaceship? Oh, hold on, hold on. Studying jet propulsion for the common line price. It's announced last week. Anonymous billionaire is awarding $50 million for significant aerospace advancement. Just imagine what I could do for Megan's MS for $50 million. Hey, Walt, can I get a sec? There's a lot of ways to make money. That much at once? It's a short list, and I don't have an oil well. Whoa, a rocket. When we're done with the reactor for can we repair the control drum? We probably need to get the rust off the trouble pumps. Maybe a vinegar bath. I should skip school until this is done. Nope. We're leaving now, in the car. You sure this is about Megan? Because Ralph is certainly hooked. You're reaching for something, what? This is a pretty cool project, building a rocket ship. So what little boy doesn't dream of that? <laughs> Your dad's back in Portland. He's going to pick you up after school and take you for a milkshake. I'd rather work on the rocket. Well, he's looking forward to it. He said he got you a hat. But I'd rather work on the rocket. The planes are set. No more tug of war. Come on. Ralph, come here. Page Dean. Agent Wilson Eckert, Department of Justice. This is Ralph. What do you want? You need to come with us, both of you. Concerns national security. What did I do? It's not you, ma'am. It's your son. Let's go. Come on. Oh, okay. Come on. Mom, am I going to jail? Of course not. I am sure it's a mix-up. Miss Dean. I'm not leaving my son alone. 
My office is right on the other side of that glass. You don't really have a choice. I'll be right in there. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Oh, my God. Agent Daniel Cullens and Kate Stellan were killed last night in a CIA safe house in Culiacan, Mexico. They were guarding a turncoat captain in the Hotas drug cartel. What does this have to do with Ralph? The location and layout of the safe house were leaked as a secret level of a game posted online. Again, how does this concern Ralph? Thousands of people played this game, but only two parties found the secret level and decrypted the safe house information. The drug cartel who murdered our agents and Ralph. So it's something he stumbled on? Ralph was in a map ten encryptions deep into this game. Something that would take a good hacker months to accomplish. He couldn't have just stumbled on it. The issue is the safe house information was classified CIA intel. Our concern is that Ralph may have helped design the game that delivered it to the cartel. How on earth would he have access to CIA intelligence? You work for a government contractor. Your team has specialized expert hackers. None of them would allow him to do this. Scorpion does nothing but help people. Mr. Neen, we don't grab children randomly off the street. Either he knew where the secret map was and how to access it, or he had something to do with the design of this game. Which disseminated CIA intelligence game? Okay. This is a very, very serious situation. I need to speak with Ralph. You can be watching from right next door. I need to speak with Walter O'Brien and Agent Cape Gallo from Homeland. This is your mom's laptop, Ralph. That game you were playing, Overt Target? Where did you find it? Lying around. You know what a dark website is? They're inaccessible to normal search engines. You don't just play around, find them. An overt target was in the dark web. I know you're a, a smart boy genius. So you need to know that when my forensic team goes through your mom's computer, they're gonna find everything. Every game you played, how you got there, who you chatted with. How did you find the secret level, the safe house level? I just found it. No, 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 that's impossible. Did you have anything to do with the design of this game? No. Do you know who created the game? How did you find the dark site where it was posted? And do not tell me that you just found it. Walter showed it to me. Walter? Walter O'Brien? Um, he taught me decryption. He didn't know it was bad. This is over now. Agent Gallo, Homeland Security. What did you teach him? So these dark sites, this is where the most interesting coding is. It's it's cutting edge. Walter. I thought it would be interesting for Ralph to see where the smartest people on the web are designing. And doing what else? Did you think of that? I was just showing him a beta game site. People post for feedback to drum up buzz before selling to big companies. You get to see the game years before anyone else. Stop does. now. Got here as quick as I could. Hey, buddy. Scary day, huh? Somebody want to fill me in? It's nothing. You did nothing. But he got hauled off the street in front of his school or at the Justice Department. Can you sit with Ralph? Yeah. Hey, you want to tell me what happened? I just want to talk to Walter. Okay. <clears throat> Edgar's not buying him just stumbling into the secret level. That is the likely scenario. He just can't comprehend the depth of Ralph's intelligence. Maybe no one can. They should be talking to Walter. Why aren't they? I can explain everything. Not now. I've lawyered up for the whole team. In the meantime, Ralph's being released back to you. Thank God. But he's my responsibility, so you need to stay close to me in case Edgar wants him to come back in. Okay, let me talk to them and clear this up. They're being extremely aggressive. The safe house intel in the game was stolen in a hack of the CIA mainframe three weeks ago. Details from six other unknown operations and safe houses were taken. Ralph had nothing to do with hacking the CIA. I know. But they don't. Okay, so we need to find out who hacked the CIA. That's who likely put the information in the game. Why are we standing here? Hey. Fill me in. No time. He's my son. Make time. You know, with your history, I would be cautious in saying that. This is not about either of you. This is a mess you got Ralph into, and you need to get him out. Do you understand that? I will make this Stop right. Stop talking, and just do it. Where are we? Walter, are you okay? Where's Ralph? Come with Kate, Page, and Drew. What's your progress tracking the developer of the Overtarget game? We're into it, but on the deep web, multiple shifting identities are the norm. Whoever designed this game is using an anonymous proxy, which means any trace back will be torn and encrypted to the hilt. How is narrating our process helping our speed? Walter? 
CIA and the Justice Department, they're certainly working to find this game designer and come in a blank, meaning this may take a minute. They're not to us. Anything that Ralph is doing on Paige's laptop will be backed up to our cloud server. We know. We're already tracking his steps. I only showed him the deep web because it's where he could find people like himself, people like us. I'm certain your intentions were good. He was engaged, he was asking questions, he was like the first time that I used the internet. We are just having fun. You were reading my body language and analyzing me. I was absolutely doing that. I'm determining whether you know that mentoring a young person is about more than just fun. Of course I know that. Hey, Ralph. How's it going, pal? Heard you held up like a champ. Better than my first arrest. That was inappropriate. There's a loft. Back to work. Walter, I may have found the game designer buried beneath seven layers of encryption on the overt target message board. It took me like 15 minutes to crack. An eternity. There's something you need to see. Get a little rest. I'll be downstairs if you need me to tell Drew. Look, um, I can handle what Walter said earlier, and I accept it, but this situation, his exposure to the team... You don't see the amazing things they do. They're brilliant. They're adults in an adult world. You don't know them like I do. They would never hurt Ralph. And yet here we are. Look, I don't have any right to push you, but his internet usage... Oh, he's never playing that game again. All his internet will be monitored. Good. So we're on the same page. I appreciate you being paternal. Walter is Ralph's friend and a huge asset, but this was not his finest moment. Trying to give Ralph some time to rest. It's important. Hey, Ralph. Hey, buddy. In the over target chat room, did you ever communicate with someone called Mini Danger? Son, just tell us what you talked about. That's all. I just said the level one entry into the abandoned warehouse was too easy to find. There should be a hidden entrance. And he responded to you? He said, okay. And then what happened? Changed the game. I assume it's bad he was talking to the game designer. Ralph made a suggestion that helped modify the game. Do you know how that's going to look to Eckert when he finds out? Ralph did nothing wrong. He was asked if he helped design the game. Ralph said no. We have proof that he did help. Unknowingly. American agents were killed as a result of this game. The CIA has been searching like hell for the culprits. If need be, they may just make an example out of Ralph. They'll cut his computer use, put him on a no-fly list for the rest of his life. He may never get a job beyond flipping burgers. Basically everything that would have happened to Walt if Cape hadn't shown up. So now we need to locate the game designer, Mini Danger. He's the only one that can confirm that Ralph's game suggestions were innocent. Guys, I'm actually communicating with Mini Danger right now in another chat room. He just responded to you. I called him a no-talent, dimwit fart of a game designer. I said, his work reminded me of something a dog might deliver after eating old cheese. What are you talking about? It's egomania. It runs rampant with artists, writers, and game designers. Especially the latter. Who grew up maligned by jocks and ignored by cheerleaders. Like us? Yeah, so now these guys have this muscle to flex. And these chat rooms, just a constant joystick measuring contest. The best way to get a response is with insults. Admittedly, it's a shot in the dark, but he responded. From a mobile device? which can be traced. Keep insulting him, keep him responding happy. You'll trace from the SUV. Hey okay, guys, let's go. Of course he's here. Three times I've called many danger and understand a cat go net. Still no response. Last communication came from inside the building. Oh, okay, stay here. Why the hell would I do that? I think you might stand out as a federal agent. Exactly, Mondo. Well, what are you doing? Excellent question. These tournaments can be a crucible for hackers, dark side trolls. Never bring your credit cards to a place like this. Less savory types will carry pocket scanners that'll get your numbers from the magnetic strips. My God. All right, we're in the comms. I've seen pictures of these conventions. They don't do them justice. World's largest gathering of virgins. I don't know. The after hours parties, these things can get pretty filthy. So I've read. The last signal leads to the room down there. Hi there. Uh, we need access to this room. That's the VIP tournament area. Access by gameplay only. 30 dino kills in 30 seconds. 30 kills in 30 seconds on a game no one's played in 10 years? That's the rule, Grandpa. I didn't make it. Grandpa? I'm 32. Okay, guys, the last ping from Mini Danger came from in that room. If I can get 30 kills in 10 seconds, can all my friends get in? <laughs> Not possible. Hey, wait. Is he El Guapo? 
a waffle? What's our progress? Nothing more from any danger. Makes it a bit of a needle in a haystack. Unless he's playing. Give me the guy on the left. Sensitive face. I can see him being easy to offend. Catch this guy and Ralph's off the hook. Just figure it out. Mind reader, get in the game. You know, I could just yell out, hey, mini danger, your government would like to speak with you, but that might get him running, Cabe. The kid on stage just got very alert to you. Talking with your finger in your ear might have tipped him. And I think he made me too. He's running. Keep your eye on him. Great, we lost him. I got this. I can fix it. Attention, fans of this game. We trust you're enjoying your promotional hooded capes. You mean Vontaine cloaking? That's exactly right. Now, sewn into the lining of one and only one cloaking is a ticket that grants you a small role in the latest version of the game. Yes, that's right. You could literally be in the game. You'll be the only one still wearing a cape. I see him. I got him. There. Cape, he's on the move. He's wearing a red cloak. Cover the exit off the main hall. We'll check the southeast doors. Out of my way. Excuse me. To you. Whatever you think I did, you have the wrong guy. Did you design the game over at Target and post it online? Then we have the right guy. Right, this is good. You admit to designing the game. Yeah, well, why so easily? Wait, stop. What secret level? There's no secret level in my game. The Justice Department calls it the safe house level. It's awfully authentic. What do you know about the hack of the Langley mainframe at CIA headquarters three weeks ago? Oh, my God. Well, God ain't here with you, kid. It's just me. No answers. Uh, you can have my laptop, all my hard drives, all my data, everything. If you're so squeaky clean, then why'd you run at the convention? All right, all right. I may have made a few bucks hacking the DMV to take points off a few people's licenses. Well, Doc. He's telling the truth. Then how the hell did... Hey, buddy! Then how the hell did the safe house level get on your game? Walter, what are you doing? A ten-year-old who you involved in this hangs in the balance right now. I don't know any kids. Scorp Junior 1, you communicated with him? Scorp Junior 1 is ten? He's a smart kid. But it was just about gameplay. No CIA secrets. I didn't have anything to do with that. Neither did my partner. Partner? Calvin Thorne. Or maybe you're just pulling a name out of a hat. He's not. Calvin would take the hard drives, do revisions. He'd never do anything like this. When'd you hook up with this Calvin? He noticed an early version of my game online and offered to come on board as a collaborator. Coding, research. These spy games can't write themselves. I am sensing integrity markers in his voice. There's pitch consistency, lack of shift, the eye movement. It's telling the truth. There's a Calvin. Maybe this Calvin did the CIA hack. And he commandeered Nate's game to deliver the intelligence? Meaning the guy that stole the CIA intel. Maybe Calvin is out there peddling more information. Hecker claims that six other operations were compromised. We're talking a hundred more lives are at risk. Explain how this worked. If I stole CIA intelligence, then I need buyers and a way to deliver the intel that one traced back to me. Use the black sites to find the buyers and find a patsy, Nate, piggyback the information into his online project, in this case, a game. You tell the buyer when the game goes live, you give him the password, and then he finds the stolen CIA intel hidden in the game. It's just sitting there waiting for the right person to access it. Except in this case, the wrong person found the hidden level, Ralph. It made him look guilty because it's hidden so well. And we're certain that Nate's told us everything that he knows. When it comes to Russian rockets, I'm all thumbs. This is sort of my thing. Wanting Nate to be the bad guy doesn't make him the bad guy. Okay, then we should be talking to Calvin, because he's the one who actually might have hacked the CIA, who actually might be the bad guy. Or we can stand around all day. Maybe if we take him for a walk around the block, he'll get his appetite back. No, we need to stay close. Okay, I'm not trying to make things worse, but a few weeks ago, the garage was torn apart by killers. It's not exactly a jamboree. I've been thinking the same thing, too, but... I know you feel Walter is good for him. Drew, the whole team is good for him. I'm no genius, but I was a kid, and so were you. Ralph is special, but that doesn't mean these guys should be treating him like an adult. Maybe they didn't have normal childhoods, Paige, but I'm worried that they might be taking one for Ralph. Any luck at Calvin's apartment? He wasn't home. Wait, why do you have a safe? There were no computers in sight, so whatever tech he's got, guaranteed he keeps it in there. You stole that? Let's go with seized. With CIA operations in Jeopardy, not to mention Ralph, we're not looking for permissions. Okay, well, if he wasn't there, how'd you guys get in? I picked the lock. 
and watch and happy. Yeah, we've noticed. Speaking of which, where is she? Keeping an eye on Nate. No, we gotta crack that safe. Go get her. Hello? Didn't I just get us into that apartment? You know, she's not the only one on our team with skills. No, uh, you're insulted because earlier she called you a spiller. We can't waste time just so you can prove her wrong. I wasn't insulted. I just have psychological insight. I got it. It's Calvin. He's cold, precise, detail-oriented. I looked around his place. With him, it's the little things. Pile of mail told us that his middle initial is W. That is a powerful letter. And 23rd in the alphabet. Get happy. Cabe, Walter, Grimace. How long? 30 seconds, tops. Is no computer in there? No, just a two terabyte hard drive. That's our main backup storage. There are multiple index levels to this thing. Deep encryption, low depths. Oh, look at what I just found. CIA files. Okay, so we know that six of them were stolen. Now we know who stole them. I, I don't get it. What is this? They played you. Six files made six more safe houses. CIA operations and multiple identities that he can sell and expose. Resulting in how many more dead agents? These files are so heavily encrypted that the only thing we can tell is that they are CIA files. But to know which six locations are at risk would take hours. We don't have that kind of time. Odds are Calvin's already sold the intel for delivery in the game and buyers are waiting. Statistically, I'd say that's 91% likely. Nate, where's Calvin? First place I'd try is the Brick and Porter Cafe on Angel Street. That's mostly where we worked on the game. We're headed there now. What about me? He's a good lawyer. Wait, you'll have an easier time putting him away with the confession, right? I can get him to talk. Please, you've got to let me help. Can you wire him up? I can do it on the way. I know I have Eckerd meters at the spot. Have you drive like a maniac? Get us here fast. Sweet. You stay here. You keep digging into Calvin's hard drive. On it. Calvin's settling into a second cup of coffee. The guy's in his zone. Agent Eckerd's got his team rolling. They'll be here in three minutes. We're almost done. We'll be recording everything you and Calvin say. I'm sorry I got that boy involved. You're not the one who got him involved. I'm surprised he was so young. Dark side boy's no place for a kid. Please keep your remaining thoughts to yourself. Good to go. Start by telling Calvin you found the hidden level. Ask him what he put in the game. Hey. You sure about this? Yes. I want to make this right. Just maintain eye contact and keep a calm tone of voice. Piece of cake. Department of Justice is coming to back us up. Stay cool. Okay. Nate, what brings you? I was just in the area. You're sweating like a pig. Shout <laughs> out. That tone of voice is anything but calm. Yeah, Sylvester. Walter, I found some bad stuff on the hard drive. Personal data. He erased it a while ago, but I was able to dig it up. Turns out Calvin's name is not Calvin. It's Donald Chen, and he's got a record. Weapons possession, black hat hacking, assault. Man, Nate had no idea who he was getting into bed with. Right, nice work, Sylvester. So what you working on now? Finishing up six new levels for the game. Launching them in an hour. That's gotta be the other six stolen CIA files. He's gonna blow the operations in one hour. As soon as he gets a confession from Calvin, we go in and it's over. So, so look, I, um, I gotta ask you something. It's pretty weird. I, I found a hidden level in our game. <sighs> Tell you what. I need a smoke. I don't like the sound of that, but we don't have a confession yet. We gotta get Nate out of there. Let's talk out back. They're on the move. What's out back? According to satellite maps, that's an alley. Wait, wait Calvin, what are you doing? We lost contact. Pull around back now. Agent Acker don't meet us. There he is. He's on the ground. Uh, I think I see blood. <laughs> Nate, what happened? Stab me. Oh. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. You're going to be okay. Hey, look at me. Look at me. You're going to be fine. Did your team botch this all to hell, Dello? Not now. Suspect's in the wind. Fan out. Find him. Nate, 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 Nate. Come on. Keep your eyes open. He's fading fast. The White Hall Hospital's four minutes away. Okay, we're on it. 20 cc's of diesel therapy stat. Toby, keep him breathing. This neighborhood's nothing but abandoned buildings and warehouses. Yeah, there are plenty of places to hide. Oh, this looks familiar. So you got the bridge, you got dozens of factories, you got this cafe. We're in the game. What are you talking about? Nate and Calvin designed the first level based on what they knew best. What they were looking at every day and night while they were coding in that cafe. So if Calvin's gonna hide, this is the perfect spot. No one knows this area better than he does. Except Ralph. He knows the game. Which means he knows this area like the back of his hand. If we're gonna find Calvin before he leaks that CIA intel, 
Ralph has to play that game again and lead us to him. Are you kidding? This morning, that game landed him in a room with federal agents. It's the only way to find this guy in time. We only got a half dozen people searching. It's a massive search area. For right now, we need an advantage, and that advantage is Ralph. I thought he was never playing that game again. Mom, can I? Walter, Ralph's in the game? Copy. The best way for us to help you is to pinpoint your exact location, go to that same spot in the game, and guide you. And Walter, you need to hurry because there's a countdown clock with six new levels coming in 19 minutes and 50 seconds. We need to catch Calvin before they're released. All right, well, we're on the east side of Angel Street, outside a factory. What color is it? Uh, it's gray and white. That one has a hidden entrance. Look for an alley straight ahead. The AC grate on the north side by the telephone poles. Enter there. The access is a lower level. You can't get to it from the main floor. I'm playing that level now. <laughs> that has got to be hiding there. Look alive. All right, we're heading in. Did you find hallway PW99? Yeah, that's where you said it would be. This floor has the most hiding places. They should go southeast. Okay, guys, you heard him. Hey! Hey, okay, are you okay? Yeah, we're good. Let's go catch that son of a bitch. Okay. Bleeding's under control. Too much. Ah, uh, damn, the bleeding slowed down because his heart stopped. Where's a quick jump? Happy, the jumper cable's now. Uh, it's, uh, it's under the console. Okay, here we go. Huh. So, Doc, clap the black one in the middle part of the seat and then take the red one and zap him. Uh, clear. Ah, <laughs> uh. right, he's back. Holy crap, Dr. Frankenstein. I can get it south. I need a shortcut. According to Ralph, look for a door on your left, mark 659. That's how Calvin would escape. Got it, got it. Okay, head through the opening in the fence and hang a right. You should catch up to him there. Is this my only way out? It's fast. Sample of upper abdomen and a severed epiploic artery. He's gonna need a couple units of the OR. Oh, I'm rocking so much adrenaline right now, my blood is basically red. Impressive. Guys, guys, looking at a, a rather large drop. It's unknown depth. It's, uh, yeah, no, it's too far to jump. You can jump down and walk across. Are you sure? Yes, it's only a seven-foot drop. I can tell by how the graphics are positive. I can't see the bottom. It could be seven feet or 17. Now, are you sure, Ralph? Scoop. What? It's about a scoop of ice cream after school. He, he'd make me scoop swear that we'd actually go. It's, it's the strongest promise he can make. Okay. I trust you, Ralph. Ralph. Got a visual. He's fast. You can stop him. There should be a lever in front of you. Open the storage bay in front of the exit. I see the lever. Pull it, pull it now. Did it work? Uh. Yeah, it worked. going to that thing, huh? It calms me. After today, calm is good. Hey, ER doc called. Looks like Nate's gonna make it. You know, no one on this team could have pulled off what you did today. Well done. You know, something occurred to me for your rocket. With trauma wounds, the body protects the head and the heart and the gut by focusing blood flow in those areas, just like Nate's body did today. So with your rocket, what if you adjust the fuel flow the same way? Cover the injector head with a metal plate that's perforated with holes like stab wounds. Covering more or fewer of the holes will allow for variable fuel flow and increased throttle ability. It's a good idea. I got a million of them. It won't. About the kid. 
Yeah, we were having fun. Um, too much fun. Look, he needs you. You're a huge part of his life, but you can't just be his friend. You gotta be the grown-up, too. We have a celebrity in our midst. Oh, stop. You're making me blush. Not you, idiot. An online video? What? El Guapo sets another record. What is that? What? No, 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 no. No, 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 Wait a minute. Is that a young Sylvester? Yeah. Earlier that gamer girl asked me if Sly was El Guapo. Now we know why. Please. No. Those are some fascinating moves. Hard to look at, but impossible to turn away. Life will never be the same. I can't believe this was online for seven years and you never said anything about it. The fashion is unflattering and the dance is derivative. You're their hero. Well, I guess we all have our hidden talents. That's beautifully put, El Guapo. For what it's worth, I know it's my fault that you're here in the first place. So, I'm gonna make it right. I'm gonna work my ass off for that gig in Portland. Give you and Ralph a shot at something else. This is not about you and me getting back together. This is about us being a family, all in the same place, all safe. What if we don't want to leave? Well, before you have a choice, how can you know? Uh, we're heading out. Just packing up Ralph's things. Take your time. I apologize for everything I did to contribute to what Ralph went through today. But there it is. But I do want to note, those stolen CI files contain the identities of 43 undercover operatives. They in turn protected 356 source assets relating to drug trafficking, gangs, loose nuclear material. By preventing the release of those files, Ralph saved innumerable lives today. I'm glad he could help. I'm just not sure it's a good idea for him to grow up this fast. Ralph sees us using our heads for good. He's learning how to be a grown-up genius someday. We're not trying to make him a grown-up now. I'll meet you downstairs. I'm aware I screwed up. I just wish I could get a guarantee from you that this won't happen again. I'm not sure I can give you one. I know you can't. So what do I gamble on, Walter? I couldn't advise you gambling is Toby's department. I care about this team and our work. But what I care about most is giving Ralph a safe place to reach his potential. He has a lot of it. I know that too. <laughs> Do you remember when you and Ralph turned up and I gave him that riddle? What is a group of jellyfish called? Yeah, a snack. If you want to give me one now, I would understand. <laughs> it's funny, Walter. You try. I know you do. Good night.